med Darcy. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow! Yeah. Uh, did you eat and take a cracker? A little bit. Just a little, little bit. bit? Yeah, a little bit. And they are quite bad with Darcy and Nwana. At the same year. Do you speak pretty regularly with you know family? And I say, you know, yeah, just Dutch and English and what? It's a mix. It's a, a mix. mix at all, but you want to call it a cow? Oh, nice. Yeah. 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 Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. You enjoy our music? Yes, a lot. A lot. Uh, your favorite artist? Yeah. Favorite artist? I would say... I won't. Ha- I don't have a favorite, but King Promise is good. King Promise. King Promise yeah. is very. Mr. Easy is good. Uh, before I was listening a lot to to Sarkodie. Sarkodie. Yes. Yeah, the rap. The rap king. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Then enjoy this one from Famiye. Yeah. They course it. Uh, yeah. Did you tell you so far? Very nice. Very good. I enjoy it a lot. Obahache. Yeah, the last time was uh, 2016 with my older brother. Oh, okay. Yeah, 15 oh. years already. 15 years. 15 already. years. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little boy. You was like, I could have some out. Yeah. And I see a lot of changes in Ghana. Change, yeah, a lot of changes, yes. Yeah. You've been to many places now since you came? Um, not many places. Me, I'm more of a, of a home guy, but my brother and my uncle, they, they take me out. Also, no brother, because I'm busy. He fun, he fun audio aco. Aka is a life at night. He fun, he fun audio. We go chase and go for a meal. Have you had parties? We met some of the you know soccer players who are in town for holidays. I was uh, I was with I was with Callum. Uh, also no also no oh, okay. Yesterday he was playing some football, so uh, we were just together. Um, I've been to Brazza restaurant. Oh. Okay. Very nice restaurant. <laughs> I enjoyed it. You enjoyed it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Very nice. You've had some banku, some fufu, some tilapia. <laughs> no, I, I can one. connect you. Let me rock, baby. You enjoy some okay, really, really okay. good banku and tilapia. We, we, really, really, really good. We will connect. With some hot sauce. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> with some really, really hot sauce. But, but let's just throw back to your football career. Yeah. I, I know people have amazing stories how they fell in love with the beautiful game. Yes. For you, what would you say? What's your encounter with that beautiful game as a teenager? Uh, I started very young. I started mm-hmm. even when I was like four years old. Like very, four years yes, old? Yes, yes, in a, a local team in Holland. But my brother was already like playing, so okay. he always brought me and, and my little brother because I have one more little brother. He always brought us out to play with him. And then uh, it's all natural for us to like to fall in love with the game of football. And then um, when I was seven years old, I went to to, to Ajax. Oh, yeah. So I actually mm. from seven to sixteen. Seven to sixteen. Yes. Before you left. Before I left, yeah. Yeah. So how is the Ajax system like? You know, here we know they produce a lot of good talent. Yes. But for you, you've experienced it. How, how is it like? Because we've got Ghanaian player now playing for Ajax, yeah, yeah. Mohamed, yes, uh, who is now like our, our, one of our brightest stars. Yeah. How is it like? You think he can do well there and develop into the player we want him to be? Um, the the Ajax, um, the way they train, the way um, they set up the academy is uh, it's very good. You need to like, let's say, if you are a centre back, you need to be able to play in midfield. You need to be able oh, to play oh. as a full back. So that's um, what they demand from the players when they, at a very young age so you can play more positions and they demand also for you to be able to use both feet and to see the situation before so like it's it's, it's a it's good very place good. to develop it's very it's a very good place to develop so that's part of your your development how yes. you're able to play as a holding player yes. left back and center back center back yes. so that development came from my ass it came from my access mm. since a young age i I was able to play everywhere, and I always uh, take that with me in, in my career. Yeah. But I know some parents are very skeptical when their kids mm-hmm. are traveling outside yeah, yeah, yeah. to play football. You were 14, 15, 16 I was 16, time? yes. And you were leaving yes. Holland to Manchester. Yeah. Did your parents readily accept it because it was Manchester United? Were you happy for you as a young player moving from Holland? How was it for you? So me, uh, I had uh, a lot of a lot of friends in Amsterdam because I'm a real boy from Amsterdam, you know. So to make you enjoy uh, the life in Amsterdam. I, I, I like Amsterdam. So for me to um, make the step from Amsterdam to Manchester was uh, was a big step. It was a very big step. But um, 
it was Manchester United and I was like okay let's try something new in my in my life at such a young age then um, so so I did it I went with my dad the the first year and the the year after my brother came with me so I think the, the it was very important for me to have my dad with me around you yeah, around me when I went to Manchester at such a young age so to to have a feeling like you have someone from the from the family with you and uh, since then uh, when I was 16 uh, I've, I've I've been I've been there and I settled in very quickly okay. what Manchester. influenced the move was it the club Manchester yes. or the manager at the time that influenced the move Vanga no, because Van Gaal was in the first team, but yeah. uh, when I came to when I came to Manchester, it was not he who uh, who said he wanted me at Manchester. Okay. It was like the the academy, coach. yeah, and the academy mm -hmm. coach and all the people around the academy. So yeah, I was just uh, fortunate to 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 make my first team appearance one and a half or two years later. But but a young guy from Amsterdam now in Manchester. Yeah. <laughs> was it, did you have the cultural shock because Amsterdam is quite different from yeah. Manchester? How was it? How was the city? How was the people? The culture, the football. It's all. For you? It was all all different, very different. Especially the first two weeks. Things like uh, in Amsterdam, the the roads are on the right. In, Ma in England, the roads are on the <laughs> on left. The left. It, like it's all driving was, in, in Amsterdam is different from driving in. Yes, in very the UK. very different. Mm. Everything was a bit different. Uh, I can't even explain it, but it was also different. But the the players in my team, I was already with uh, with with Rashford, with Tuan Saber. They were already uh, in the team. So they made me feel very welcome, and all the players there as well. The, the whole club made me feel welcome, and uh, so I settled in. As I said before, I settled in very, very quickly. It was different, though. It was very different, but you have to 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 focus and to understand. Like, okay, now you're in England. Now you're not in Amsterdam anymore. So enjoy and and, yeah. and do your best. Yeah. Enjoying is the, is the most important. But but how important is it for you as a young player to have? the family support system yeah. with you. How, how important is that for, for young players? Very important. Uh, I, was a, I was a young, I was a guy who already had like um, good discipline because I, I love the game. But even though if you have a lot of discipline, you still need someone who's, who's like older than you, who has more experience than you in life to to correct you sometimes, you know? Yeah. And that, that's my dad for me, my dad and my older brother. So um, yeah, it's it's very important. It's very important to to have uh, to have family around you and to have people who can correct you, who can guide you in the right direction. And uh, fortunate fortunate for me, I had, uh, I had my family around me. Yeah, is your dad a football enthusiast? Yeah, he likes football. He likes football a lot. So it's easy for him to then follow your career path and make yes. the right choices for you. I wouldn't say uh, make the right choices for me because. Uh, at the end of the day, I make the, my career choices, sure. but he can he can um, give advice, and at the end of the day, uh, I just uh, I just make the decision. But he likes yeah. football. He likes football. He does know a lot about football, football. though. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's always good to have that. But finally, you settled in. Career is going well. You mm -hmm. had the opportunity to to play for the senior team. But when you were told that you were graduating to the senior team. How did you feel? How, how did you take it? And that's such, it's such a big moment for yes, academy definitely. boys. Yeah, for sure, definitely. Yeah. Um, that week, there we had a lot of a lot of players who uh, who already made a debut for the for the first team. Yeah. So with me, it was more like, oh, I want to make my debut as well. But you have to be patient. I was 18 at the time. And then um, that week, I was training very very well. I was training with the first team, and I was training very well. But I didn't think like I was gonna be in a, in the squad. So, and then all of a sudden, on because the game was on a Sunday against Arsenal, all of a sudden on Saturday I seen my name on the list to travel to the hotel. Yeah, and was excited. I did, was, did you uh, call home? Did you call your dad uh, or your mom or your friends? No, nah, not necessary because I wanted to 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 keep it like low key and. If it happens, it happens because I didn't know if I was gonna start, yeah. or I didn't even know if I was gonna be on the bench. Mm. And yeah, the next day I made my debut against Arsenal. Against a club I support, Arsenal. Against Arsenal, <laughs> and we won. Yeah, we won. Yeah, yeah you won against Arsenal. Yeah. My, you know, too bad for us, but mm. you know, in the last few years, that's that's been the story. Yeah. But what is it like for a player to play for United? 
Does it come with pressure? I know already for a professional player, it's, it's pressure every single football, day. Football, football, football. Yeah. It can be pressure, but um, the most important is to enjoy and to understand how blessed you are to play the game of football. And to play uh, for Manchester United, is, it's nice. It's a big club. But to play football in general, like to play in the Premier League, to play in the Bundesliga series, this, this, this is it's a blessing, you know, it's nice. So, yeah, man. How do you say it's a blessing? Because obviously you have the talent. Yeah. You are, you are entertaining all of us around the world. Mm -hmm. Why do you think it's a blessing to be playing at a high level? Or you think that there are so many talented players and if yes. you're able to make it up there, yes. you should count your blessings? Because uh, even in Amsterdam, I know a lot of people, a lot of guys mm -hmm. my age, older or a bit younger, who, are so, who have good talent, but at the end, it just doesn't work out. Yeah. So it's, it's not easy. You can have the talent, but... In football, it's not only about talent, it's also about luck, you know, yeah. and about the right moment, the right time. So that's what I mean by being yeah, blessed. Sure, sure. But United went out on loan mm -hmm. twice to Fulham and yes. Crystal Palace. Was, yeah. it, was it a good learning curve for you as a young player? Yes, for sure. Crystal Palace, for sure. Uh, I played there a lot, a lot of games. I played good games there. We had a, we had a good team. We, we finished mid table. It was it was very good experience for me. Fulham was also a good experience, but um, I think it uh, it was cut short with uh, with injury, injury, and it was a bit difficult because we we changed like three times. We changed our manager Maybe, in one yeah. season, mm -hmm. and in Crystal Palace we had Frank de Boer, who's now the national coach of Holland. Holland. But uh, then I had Roy Hodgson, so. It was uh, it was both very good experience. It was a very good experience for me, both for nice clubs. Yeah, but, but you know, how difficult is the Premier League? Yeah, it's not easy because <laughs> in the Premier League, every team, everyone can beat everyone. Yeah, everyone can beat everyone. It's always every game will be a, will be a difficult game. All right, you know Timothy, yeah. For some men, sir, any ding come on, oh, Jimmy, so we're happy. Sports with your joining life on Facebook. Most of the comments will be bring on and about life on our Facebook page, happy 98.9 FM. Over to me, so I like your page, you know, watch I'm a real senior, and you be a share. Timothy, for some men, sir, for some men, sir, it's life in the studios of happy 98.9 FM. You didn't come on, I find a career, honey, football in general, honey, come on, and a DA. But let's let's do this. You've played in Germany, you've played in Holland, you've played in England. Yeah. What What is the difference? What are the similarities? Often we hear players come into the Premier League and the, the commentators will say it is not like any other league. Yes, yes. What, what is the difference and similarities you, you find across um, some of the three leagues you've played in or the teams you've played in so far? I think uh, in England is uh, the most physical, mm. but in Germany it's also very physical, physical. very yeah. physical and um, high standards. I think Germany and England you can uh, compare it a little bit. In Holland, it's it's a bit uh, it's a bit more easier. Yeah, space is space. Yeah, it's less not, allowed to express themselves. Yes, it's mm -hmm. not so um, compact. And not so yeah, not so compact, not so competitive like in Germany and England. That's but, what I think. Okay, enjoying German football. So yes, far? yes, for sure, definitely. Yeah. But, but why did it seem to leave United, even though you were offered an opportunity? At United, I think for me it was important to uh, to play to play uh, to play every every game if I can play. And at United it wasn't happening anymore. Um, they offered me a new deal though. But for me the most important is to play because I'm a football player. So a football player needs to play to express himself, and that's why I made uh, made this uh, decision. Was it a difficult decision? Yes, was was not was not an easy decision. <laughs> Leaving the whole yeah. Family system in United yes. at United and going to Germany. Yeah, definitely was uh, was not uh, was not an easy decision. But uh, in life, not uh, everything is easy. Some things are hard as well. You have to deal with it. What What was your relationship with yourself and the manager, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer? I had a good uh, relationship with him. He's a good manager, um, especially when I had uh, the injury and when I was coming back. He had the injury as well as a player, so he was he understood he understood me a lot, and he gave me a lot of um, advice on the injury, and you know he was checking up on me as well. And yeah, for me, he's a, he's a good manager. We had a good uh, relationship together.
Do you feel disappointed that, you know, at United you really didn't hit the heights you, I'm sure no. you, had, you had dreams and hopes joining United? No, I don't, too. I don't feel disappointed. I had a nice moment with nice moments with United, winning the Europa League, winning the FA Cup in my first season. Um, these are beautiful things. So it's it's, it's football. I will never feel disappointed. But, but you think your life and your career is on the right path now? Yes. Since you you left? Yes, yes, for sure, for sure, definitely. Okay. All right. Here we go. I will answer the questions about life on our Facebook page. Uh, Timothy Fusu, Mensa, Nini, and Komo. So we happy sports life on your Facebook page, live on radio on happy 98.9 FM. Yeba, yeah, turn this ma, na yaba chua jumedi eno so. Another quality product from Casa Preco. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Me did the acrobato, me permasum VNT, and I'm living condom, me bambo, life insurance, I free Holland life. And we are and my bush a penny, a chat to my OBNG a thousand Ghana cities. Me young friend, a penny, a year, me tiano, and was some cra. Me bambo life insurance, a woman cover me, a bra, me bra, and I made them, and I said a year to me, a fuck a whole canina, a bequa machia, one Ghana. One Ghana CD pair, five CDs, fifteen CDs, and not thirty CDs. Busumi Bia, Bemo and Yawasum B, a fa a car upra, and you hear your deep babble. And one is our do who best share me buying poor life insurance, a free hollered life for star two six nine cash. Well, Vodafone so not Dinia Babanichi, Miss A, a year coco cra. We need about star two six nine cash. Now for who share more Vodafone so Nina Sumjiwa Brawa Hotos was say, would that you were buying. Insurance Serious issues. What do you hope to achieve with Leverkusen in, in the coming season? I know preseason will start very soon. You'll be yes. going back to Germany. Mm -hmm. What do you hope to achieve this season? I think um, with Leverkusen, we have to take it step by step. Yeah. The first step is um, to qualify for the Champions League. So that's uh, our ambition first to qualify for the Champions League. And then uh, we have to take it, yeah, as I said, we have to take it step by step. But the Champions League is, is, is very important for us. Mm. Growing up, do you have any role models who, who played a key role in your life? Oh, role models? If I have to be, I'm a defender, I'm a defender and defensive midfielder, but I was always a big fan of uh, Ronaldinho because yeah, yeah, he was always playing yeah, with, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. a smile on his with, face. Yeah, with a smile on his face, yeah. and it's also, it was also easy for him. <laughs> so, yeah, Ronaldinho. It did very easily. Mm. But in the dressing rooms you've been to, who do you think is the funniest you've ever met? <laughs> 100% Eric Bailly. <laughs> <laughs> the Ivorian brother. <laughs> Ivorian he's, brother, yeah. Isn't that funny? Because he's, he looks very serious on the football oh, play. Very, very serious. He's, he's, he's so funny. He's, Feely. Sometimes, 
he's he's funny but he doesn't even try and, trying to be funny he's just funny. like like that like that yeah wow <laughs> then we miss a lot because we see that seriousness on his face and yeah, yeah, yeah. he's on the foot of play well but, but let me ask you this taking the knee do you think it's making the impact you know teams take the knee before games you know i know england and croatia croatia doesn't want to take the knee mm -hmm. but do you think that it's making the impact that it's, it was intended originally for i think there there has been a lot of debate about it um for me i think before in the beginning that it was making more impact than now the uh, beginning yes yeah. but it's not for i don't want to speak too much on it but uh i think the impact the impact now hasn't been that big but but for you as a you know young black man mm -hmm. is it difficult for you in europe are you easily accepted? Have you faced racism in any way? To be fair, personally, I've not faced racism. I've seen racist things, but I've not uh, personally felt personally it. Felt it. Mm. You know, so, um, yeah, we are all human beings, you know. So, yeah. if someone's trying to be racist, then it's 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 for him. Yeah. But um, no, that's, that's that's nothing for me. That's, that's nothing, nothing for, for you. No, no. But do you think players should walk off if they? ever experienced that in a mass situation yeah it's everybody's different but i mm -hmm. think uh, mm -hmm. it can have effect the one as i said everybody's different so maybe for one person it has more effect on yeah. him than the other person but racism should should never be allowed anyway so yeah close to the game yeah all right 100%. do you support any local club do you follow up football Santi Kotoko. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> fabulous! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because since uh, you can follow their game, I've not followed much lately, yeah. but I'm gonna try and follow try them. And follow yeah. them. Oh, okay, okay. They have a Brazilian player in there, so you can. A Brazilian player. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <a> Bugama, yeah. <laughs> okay. They actually had two. One had left. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you can you can follow. Maybe I'll, I'll take you to one of their games before you leave. For sure. You leave town. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But let's let's do the Euros. Mm -hmm. Are you rooting for the Netherlands? Yes. What do you hope they would get to? Um, it's been difficult for the national team and their rebuilding. Mm -hmm. But in this era, what do you hope they would, they would get to? What I hope, what I hope obviously is that they win the Euros. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. um, for me, if, I think if they reach the quarterfinal, the semifinals, it will be, will be, will be very good. It will be yeah. very good. Will be the good. final semi-final. Will be good, good, good for the team. Okay. Yeah. All right. But besides the Dutch team, uh, which team do you think is stronger and are clear favorites to win it? For me, I think France. Uh, mm. France has a very strong team. Uh, and as I said, Portugal also. I think Portugal, they have a good team as well. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's a difficult group. Yeah, Germany, yeah, yeah. Portugal. But there are a lot, a lot yeah. of a lot of good teams. England, England is good. Uh, Belgium is also very good. Like in the World Cup, they did very well, yeah. and they still have the same players. So it it will be an interesting, interesting tournament. Very interesting. Wow. All right. Of course, the Euros starting tomorrow, so let's see how how it, it goes. But any player you expect to take the Euros by storm? <laughs> I wouldn't say individual player, but in France you have uh, some good players, as I said yeah. before, like Paul Pogba. You have uh, Mbappé, who's, who's obviously doing very well. But every team, every team. Uh, well, has. I, let me ask you this: how, how good really is Paul Pogba? Oh, you, you played with him yes. both in training and match situation. How good is he? He's very good. He's uh, he's very good. Both feet very good, yeah. technical good, but he's also very strong. So he has like the whole. The whole package of a yeah. midfielder, what the midfielder needs to have. He's quick. He has good stamina. He's, he's, he's a very good player, very strong player. Okay. And a good guy. Let's go on to social media and find more questions. And this one is you. He's always asking Ronaldo Messi, where do you stand? <laughs> Ronaldo Messi, who is the greatest? No, I would, I would, I would go for, uh, for Messi. You would go for Messi? Yes. Why? It's just. Also natural, so in incredible what he has been doing over the Ronaldo as well. It's it's always a difficult debate, but I I would just I think I would say Messi. You say Messi? Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful to watch him play. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Anyways, okay, let me pick another one. Uh, let's, let's see if you can 
Okay, I'm not going to ask this one. <laughs> uh, it's for good reason. <laughs> I'm going to ask this one for very good reason. You met uh, Audrey, so yeah. I'm sure you've read about the whole, you know, issues surrounding his. his yeah, but I'm not going to read it. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to read it. Pardon me. I'm going to find some I appreciate it. I'm going to find some I'm going to find some of them. I'm benevolent dictator. Me send some more questions, you know. Me pay a year, okay. Uh, Emmanuel uh, Dice of Great Show, thank you very much. Manot, I was telling, huge interview. Welcome to Ghana, uh, Timo. Okay, Timo, Timo, uh, uh, um, uh, Luis Nana Kwame Boatin, welcome back home, guys. All right, Lord Sue Edward, I say, please ask Timo to if he would ever return to United, his best moment and difficult moment. You never, you never would he ever return to United? You never know. You never know what the future holds. So yeah. I would never say no, but you never know. But it, it, you think it gave you enough opportunities in there? They gave me my first professional game in, in my career, so they, they gave me good opportunities as well. Okay. Okay, Bill on cross. Oh, anybody, please kindly ask him about his famous red... Okay, uh, please. <laughs> um, Okay, he says I should ask you the famous red light and the influence it has on players in Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, my listeners are crazy. <laughs> oh my God. Why would you even ask this question in the first place? <laughs> but you can't choose to answer. So, about the famous. Nightlife in Amsterdam. Nightlife in Amsterdam is <laughs> it's, it's good. The nightlife is good. Yeah. The red light is, is, is nothing for me, though. I, yeah. you, won't, you won't find me there. Yeah. But uh, what's his name again? Uh, Bill on cross. Bill, if you wanna go to the red light, it's it's you can you can go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Alaji Mama Salia. Those of us, okay. This uh, on the Ghana Premier League. We we'll come there. We we'll come there. Um, Stanford O2, great player by all standards. The guys are happy. You're back in Ghana. Yes, you're back appreciate in, um, Yeah, you ha really really happy. So you know, besides football, yeah, to relax. Mm -hmm. What other? Then what we did you to come home this time around? Um, to see some family. Yeah. To see some family who I've not seen for like 15 years. To mm -hmm. see the country. It gives you, when you arrive, it gives you like a, 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 a nice different feeling. perspective. Yes. Yeah, a different perspective. Mm -hmm. But I, I, you said you've enjoyed it so far, so let's see how it goes. But how many days do you have left here? I'm here probably till next, um, next Tuesday. You are, and hopefully you come back. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. My producer says you love this song. You love this song, <laughs> yeah. so I'll just play it for you. I Supporters are not particularly happy when they support Kumasi Sante Kotoko. <laughs> the phobias are not happy. I mean, they are, they are the capital team, so they are not really happy. I'm sure they, if they had the choice, they would move it from Accra to Kumasi. <laughs> but what then influenced you to support Kotoko? I mean, is it a family thing? Your dad? Yes, yeah, it's or? a family thing. Okay, Sorry. so your dad supports yes. Kotoko. Okay, that, that's, that's really a good one. Okay. Wow, let me pick this up. Okay, ask him what was the feeling when you won the Europa League? With Mourinho, it was a great feeling, great feeling, yeah. and uh, it was against my old club Ajax, Ajax as well. Yeah. <laughs> so it, was, it was very special, yeah. special occasion. Mm -hmm. But it's a great feeling. It's always beautiful when you win a trophy. Mm. Yeah. Comparing the last team that won it and the team that went to the final, which one was the strongest? Um, it's, it's a difficult question. Both difficult. teams, both teams have been strong. It's, it's Mourinho, the man we see on TV, the same man in the dressing room. What is the man you see on TV? <laughs> you explain me what is the man you see on TV. Erratic. Erratic. <laughs> Mischievous. 
uh, yeah. quite a strong character. Yeah, yeah, he has, mm. he, has a, he has a strong character. But he's good. He's good for his uh, for his players, though. Mm. He's, uh, but how is it like for a player to play under him? Is it demanding? It's demanding, but that's the game of football anyway. Very demanding. But um, yeah, he he tried to get the best out of uh, out of his players. So yeah, to get the best out of his players. Yes. But the conversation now is that modern players like yourself mm -hmm. do not respond well to managers like that because you guys have famous, you guys have money. Mm -hmm. You're not there. I'll oh, kill myself no. for a manager type of players <laughs> anymore. Is it true? I don't. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. All the players who you see playing, they have uh, they have the love for the for the game of football, so they will always kill themselves for the game. Um, everybody's different, as I said. Everybody's different. So one one player maybe will have uh, won't listen that good to a manager. But I think in general it doesn't it doesn't appear. Mm. It doesn't appear. Everybody respects uh, respects the manager. Okay. All right. But but of course you have personal ambitions. Where do you hope to get to in your professional career? Where do I hope to get to? Uh, a good question. Just to yeah, straight to the top to win as many trophies with uh, club football and national football. So uh, that's my ambition: to win uh, the Champions League one day, to win the the World Cup, the Euros one day. So this is the ambition of me. All right, yeah. all right. But but do you hope to do anything here in Ghana? What do you hope to do anything here in Ghana? Charity works in. Yeah, I think it, it, so it, for, for yeah, take, uh, it will take some time because I, if I do it, I need to do it properly. Yeah. So, uh, but I am definitely thinking about it. Definitely. Mm. Okay. Someone says he needs a Jesse from you. Uh, <laughs> I am back for happy happy day. Or any please tell him I need a Jesse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Lambridge Ben Yati, please ask him for me or Henny. Okay. Let me check your question. Uh, once Marco, um, Marcus Rashford is his best friend, does he know that Marcus is a Ghanaian and his <laughs> <laughs> biological father comes from Ghana and an ex-footballer? <laughs> <laughs> he, he never said anything like that to he me. He never said anything like that to you, okay. All right. But besides she, do you understand any local dialect? No, no. Just the tree. Just the tree, yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, so this is a hypothetical question. You are in the World Cup final and the Dutch team, the orange team, is playing against Ghana, where would your heart be? <laughs> My heart is both. It's for both, but um, yeah. I would say made the best win. <laughs> made the best win. <laughs> made the best win. <laughs> <laughs> In the Dutch team, too, you have you know a lot of players with similar roots. Uh, Memphis Depay, he comes here regularly. Uh, Van Yadom, uh, even though had a stepfather who was a Ghanaian. Do you guys still connect like that? You know, talk about Ghana and uh, you know things like that. With Memphis, for sure, definitely. Uh, we 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 speak about Ghana. Um, he went to Ghana, I think, two years ago. Yeah, maybe last two year. years ago. Mm. So um, it was for, also for me. It was beautiful to see when yeah. he when he when he came to Ghana. And you have also like younger players like Brian Broby. Yeah, Brian um, Broby. I don't know if you know Derek Lucas. Uh, yeah. All these people, I'm I'm very close with. We grew up together. So yes, it's it's good. It's very good. Wow. All right, Timothy Fosu Mensa Neninu AD and Komo Ojumedi SUE. We'll wrap it, we'll wrap it up uh, here. Uh, they've got other things to do also. Um, I'll say, oh, hey, greet him for me, only my United supporter, and the co. And uh, oh, and I'm sure the Manchester United guys are going crazy that you're in town. And of course, they've been, they've been tormented by Chelsea guys that yeah. Odo is in town. Odo in town. So it's good you're here also <laughs> to give them some. You know, relief. But, but we thank you very much for coming. Uh, thank hopefully, you very much. Uh, we'll have more conversation yeah. uh, on, on, on other matters. Uh, but I mean, just a question. I'm saying, Bissano, 
Eba pa. But me bisa. Okay. For very good reasons, into me bisa. Into me fan chame. Maybe another time, another forum, we can have that conversation. Mm. But today is not the time. Into mm. another set, sober sign with Jumedi as so. Hopefully, we've covered everything that needs to be covered. Um, but of course, you said that's past uh, over journey. Hopefully, we can share Bium. Yes. If you're in Holland, if you're in England, not in Germany. Germany, yeah, 100%. All right. Maybe you want to um, get some few people. Uh, no, I'd just like to say thank you, Happy FM, for having me and my brother, my uncle here. And um, thank you, Ghana, for the warm, warm welcome. I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to